again. Today we'll be spending some time with Dr. Robert Bailey, a neuropharmacologist. Are you ready to learn something new? Join me. So my name is Robert Peter Baini. I'm a lecturer at the School of Medical Sciences, University of Cape Coast Department of Pharmacology. I trained at Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology, first as a pharmacist, and then later on I went on to get a PhD in pharmacology. It's a special interest in pharmacology of the central nervous system. That's why I describe myself as a neuropharmacologist. You have to start from somewhere. So there was an interest in science. I wanted to do science. Uh, and then you get to, as you grow, okay, you get to ex ex exposure, you get the exposure of different, should I say, scientists. There was a lady pharmacist where I used to live. Okay. Maybe that's where the interest started, that I wanted to become a pharmacist. Maybe. But up to now, I still look up to her. So I remember a time, it was a time during my study okay, that uh, I worked on a compound that we isolated from a uh, common spice. Okay. So to work on it, we had to isolate it and for about eight months we couldn't pick it. Okay. We go by the protocol, it, has already, it had already been isolated, we go by the protocol still don't get it. So then well, we, if you don't get it you have to start again. I was getting to that the down part then one day we collected new fruits, we did all that we had to do. I go to the lab in the morning and then psh, it's there. Yes. And then it was there. The compound had uh, and it was there in quantities, enough quantities that will because it sustained me and it did sustain me for the, the, the whole experiment. So I think that was very, uh, should I say, memorable, okay? Because if at that point we had not isolated that compound, I may have been forced to change the project or even back out because uh, there was no way for it. Yeah. Brain science is cool, okay? It's cool, the brain is cool. It's a lot of mystery. There's so much you can find out about the brain. I say it's cool because most science students will look at the brain and say it's a mystery. What is about this? I learn about it and I forget. But it's, I want to encourage everybody that it's cool. Here, for example, is a model that we use to study anxiety or what you call fear. Okay. We use such a model where you, which we call the elevated plasmids. Typically we will put the animal in the center. We know that these animals they are afraid of uh, heights. Okay, so we exploit that behavior. They are afraid of heights. So instead of the animal coming to explore here because of the fear, it will prefer to stay in the closed walls where it will not fall down. But if you give it a drag, that allays its fears. Then obviously the animal can step out uh, into these open arms and even look down to the floor. Okay, so this is an elevated plasmase where, which we use to test uh, drugs that can reduce fear on the experiment that I just explained. We have software that can help you to quantify what you are seeing so that you can do your analysis. Okay, so here we have a mouse in an open field. This is a test that observes another anxiety test okay the animal prefers to be in the corner away from the center because it is afraid but then if you give it a drug that removes the fear then you see the animal uh, exploring all over the place my name is dr robert Pitabani, and this has been a day in the life of a neuropharmacologist thank you bye bye